Deep Space is the Department of Education and Public Engagement's new residency program for individuals of any discipline who are interested in a project which focuses on learning and visitor engagement. Launched in 2012, the residency length ranges from one week to one month and ties conceptually to MOCAD's exhibition programming. Deep Space residents produce an installation, public performance, talk, workshop, family day event, and often visit K-12 schools, colleges, and universities. This season, our Deep Space resident is Shawnee Peters. The project that I'm doing at MOCAD, that I've been doing at MOCAD in the last two weeks, um, is called Moving Murals, History, Culture, and Video. I describe my work as video uh, for making it public projects, but that they're always intersecting. I think I really began making videos the way I make them and the way I share them because I want to do work in a very public way and I want lots and lots of people to see my work, not just people that you know are already kind of on a gallery track. Um, so to that end, I've been thinking about um, how to position video art in the world so that it can function as public art and so that it can function as uh, an impetus for public discussion and activity and, and community building. So the, the murals move in that they're like motion pictures, moving pictures, and in that they move outside of the museum. Um, we've done screenings at um, uh, the Eastern Michigan University campus and at the Northwest Activity Center through the National Conference of Artists Michigan chapter. How are we doing? Great. <laughs> okay. So I made this video called Reprogram that is showing as part of the Moving Murals program and it puts the Cosby family and the family from the Good Times, the Evans family, together inexplicably as one united family. And I was interested in bringing together these two classes. I'm always looking at disparate factions, right, that I don't think should actually be disparate. So I just imagine them together. So this clearly lots of class divide in the Western world in general, but also in the black American community. I wanted to make a sort of underlying commentary about how I think all of our families really have both of these economies happening all the time. We just kind of pretend like that's not the case. Don't you know I got three jobs to be at? I don't have time to be sitting around trying to answer these questions. I got to go to work. I'm a black man in the Growing up in like Lansing's super Midwest, simple, nice town, you like go to school, you go to the mall, roller skate, you know. Um, and I did all of those things, and I still have this very strong black power activism bent. My dad is a black studies professor at Eastern, which is why we worked with Eastern a lot. Um, and I was just steeped in that history um, growing up always in every way and so I was trying to figure out how that came about for me compared to what other people that grew up in the same neighborhood same blocks as me um, you know what they were seeing versus what I was seeing and what I was seeing maybe in addition to what they were seeing so we were all watching the Cosby show and we were all watching Good Times reruns and we were all looking at these same things happening in our own families um, but then throw the Black Panthers on it that was the idea <laughs> For family day, so we had a flipbook station, we had a video screening station, <laughs> and we had a, an animation station where we set up a, a camera um, on a backdrop and allowed kids to kind of do something crazy with themselves. Which they ended up animating their flipbooks live. It was really cute. Yeah. <laughs>